Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this uh, retry screen and pausing game. So when this ball crash on some object, we get this retry screen and the game will be paused. And if I press retry, the game will be restart. So uh, we will do everything in C++. So here we will learn how to call, uh, how to pause the game, and how to create and add a widget into the screen using C++. Right, so at the moment, when I play the game, this is all what happens. Uh, I can jump and avoid these pillars, but if I hit with the pillar or anything, you can see in the output log, I get a, a message that says hit by whatever the object that this ball hits. So the next part I want to work on is when the ball hits some other object, I need to pause the game and show a retry widget using C++. So here we will learn how to create uh, a widget from a widget class and add it to viewport using C++ uh, by doing this. Okay, so first let's create a widget, a sim very simple widget that only has one button to retry. So obviously for creating widgets, it's it would be blueprints. She retry because with the widgets are meant to be created with blueprints so i don't think we should code this in our c++ right so let's add a canvas panel and add a button to the middle let's anchor it to the middle 0 0.5, 0 0.5 as the alignment and center it like this. Size 400 by 100. Okay, and let's also add the text under the button. Um, let's call it trade run. and size okay let's make this red so we can see this clearly and the button yellow Okay, simple outline for the retry button to make it more clear. Right uh, now, let's head to our C code, and here we have already created this uh, on mesh hit event. So, when this happened, what I want to do is post the game and open uh, the widget in order to use widgets first we have to uh, add umg uh, as a public dependency module and slate and slate co as uh, private dependency modules you can see those details in this c in this unreal engine documentation here we need to add umg and slate and slate go as a private dependency module so let me copy this and under flappy bird dot build build dot cs this would be in whatever the name you have used for the project 
for you. Right, UMG and slate and slate code for private dependency module names. All right, and then let's go to the PW bird, the bird bone uh, class, and here I'll add a you property edit defaults only and here we need a variable to define the class name define the class of the widget that we are going to spawn and in order to use uh, in order to assign a widget class as the class I have to use T sub class of class you use uh, widget by defining it like this I will only be able to assign subclasses of user widgets to this widget class variable so i will not be able to assign things like you know any actor class or anything so we can filter them right now if i go back to the project and compile right compile it uh, let's see yeah here now you can see the widget class and let's assign WTG retry but what happens when but how to show this widget when we crash into some object so first I need to pause the game then I need to bring up the widget so to pause the game we can use get word get first player controller and then pause So this will pause the game and then we can create the retry widget uh, oh I didn't create no here let's create a user widget you user widget WTG retry equals uh, create widget oh, this has to be a pointer widget type uh, the object type is you use uh, widget and here as the first parameter we need to give game instance reference so get game instance and as the second parameter we need to give the class of the widget we need to create so that means jet class yeah widget class so okay and why this error oh i think i haven't included yeah here we need to include blueprint user widget header file right now let's compile oh i forgot one more thing 
here we need to add wtg retry to the viewport to viewport now it should show up right compilation complete let's test now and hit okay the game is paused and we get the retry screen but for now nothing happens when i press retry button so here let me open the widget let me open the widget and Add an event for the button. I'll click open level by object reference, and I'll select the same level. So this would reload the level. Let's see. Right, and yeah. Okay. One more thing. I don't see the mouse button uh, mouse when I get the retry window uh, after crashing it unless I press shift F1 and if I click somewhere over here the mouse vanishes again so here again get world mm. Set input mode oh, sorry we need to get the player controller get first player oh. controller set input mode F input mod uh, UI only right and also we need to get twelve Get first player controller set show mouse cursor draw right compile and play. Right, now we get the mouse and when I press retry, oh, right, so we need to change the input mode back to the game, so we can copy the same thing in the begin play. Course, this one F input mod game only right let's see crash go trigger button restart and yeah we can continue play Okay.
so uh, here the buildings uh, let me duplicate this by dragging with old pressed place it in a place like this and then if I play oh it's too hard maybe we need to move it up right so okay so i'm gonna stop this episode right here so now we can show the refresh screen and restart the game and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye